And so it begins. The blindfold is off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Boss for I Shinobi. We're on episode 33 of Jujutsu Kaisen. And the Shibuya incident began sort of like two episodes ago. But last episode, it really kicked off with Gojo getting in the thick of things. That and we finally got to see sort of Yuji getting involved. Fighting a uh, grasshopper or locust. Gonna hop right into this one. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop a sub and let's get started. What do you think of Gojo? Sensei! <laughs> He's a teacher. <laughs> Classic. Just fact of the matter. What is the purpose of this like this like documentary? Egotistical. Mm -hmm. That's what everybody knows. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. He's actually out of breath. Wait, who is he holding? That wasn't Jogo or Hanami. Weed. He called Hanami a weed! So wait, none of these people can see Hanami, right? They only see Gojo? <laughs> He's going on the offensive. Oh, okay. Is it going to be the same domain? What? Oh, nope. Never mind. We're not going to replay. Oh! That wasn't them in the intro that he... That Wait, was it them in the intro? No, that wasn't them. I don't think. There's no way he just off screens Hanami and Jogo. He's only targeting Jogo. Where is he holding his arm? He's smiling. Dude, this intro was to de dedicate and be like, nobody beats Gojo. Oh. Compact attacks. Oh man, the animation is actually kicking up. God damn! Dude, that looked like the Gojo from the flashback that we saw when he like enlightened. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh damn! He used it to protect himself, not on the offensive. Bro, Geto gave them 20 minutes, but 20 minutes with Gojo. <laughs> He's too strong! Okay, who is this? Carnet death painting wombs. Interesting. This is Spiritus! <laughs> Hanami can't keep up with Jogo. Brother. Oh my god, I love Gojo so much, man. Dude! Is Gojo gonna trade those lives to take out Hanami? Does he have to? Hanami. Oh my god! This is gone! Tsugi. Bro! Oh my god! This is a prison realm. This is him, like, I guess, explaining the plan. Is Hanami dead? That's not even just dead. That's annihilated. You keep Gojo in one place for one minute? One full minute? That's insane. That's not possible. <laughs> Bro, what is this? It's so quiet. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Impossible. Like, where is Geto and, and Mahito right now? Fighting that thing. I'm so curious what Geto's actual plan is to keep him still for one minute. He's just running. He even forgot about killing those people and trading them. This is insanity. Dude, this psychopath chasing you. Jogo's terrified. We're getting caught in his infinity. Dang, he actually went for a hit. Uh, and they also have to keep him busy. Busy for 20 minutes, in place for one. Yeah, what is the other guy doing? He's got like a red cube. Oh, dude. The music is even kind of creepy. <laughs> Beating them to a pulp. He knows that it's impossible. What is he doing? So he didn't need 20 minutes. He just needed Gojo on edge. What happened to Gojo at the beginning of this episode? Was that a flash forward? How did they even get him to be on edge? I feel like Geto's going to overplay his hand, man. At least she's fine. Ah. Oh, this is what I get for speaking. What, that a train's coming? Oh, that's how they put him on edge. Make him stop a train? Oh, no, he's... Sending a train full of curses. Oh. Oh. 
this is to delay even more and to make more of a decision based for Gojo. How does he stop this? Oh my, it's gonna be unleashed into this train station. Oh, Gojo at the beginning of the episode. He's holding the heads of some of these curses. This entire thing will exhaust him. I almost wish they hadn't shown that. But how much composure will he truly lose? Oh my gosh. So this is his part of the plan. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't gotta worry about that anymore. What? <laughs> Dude, Hanami's death was done so well too. Like it felt like pressure was like caving in. Like I said, Ghetto knows how to how, how to push Gojo, exhaust him. <laughs> he can't believe it for himself. It's crazy that this is their first time meeting since we've known Mahito so long. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. I won't even lie. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, but like I said, I mean, Gojo's come to the consensus that he can't save everyone. It's just mass murder. Oh my god. Oh, it's all splattered against the infinity. Oh, it was part of the plan to lose an arm. Cold logic. Yuji is still, yeah, emotional. Uh huh. He has to make choices and take it out of his hands. Or they put it in his hands to make decisions. It would be the easiest to just murder everyone. Yep. He's colder, but not too cold. What? He is! Oh my god, you guys are f Oh my goodness gracious! Oh, you're so done! Brother! <laughs> oh my god! Is he killing people? To get to them? Oh, no, the curses. He's speedrunning the curses! Two tenths of a second. Oh my gosh! He's using the bare minimum of his infinite void. He is at, he's literally speedrunning! Half a year's worth of information. <laughs> it's like he froze time. JJK, peak for real, man. Able to return to society two months later. Which that confirms a lot of them make it out alive. Okay, this can't be too cataclysmic. Dude. Oh, like Jogo and them. Oh my gosh. That's why he's like that. Oh my goodness. Bro, he's weak, weak now. I mean, it's not exactly what Geto wanted, but it is what he wanted. He is him! And I'm worried now. He actually is exhausted a little bit. What is that? What is that? <gasps> Wait, that's what it is? It's a Minecraft block? Ew! That's it? That's the prison realm? Run. Yeah. Run. Oh my god. Satori. Ghetto's the one that keeps him there. Hisashi. Run! Yeah. This is how he keeps him here? Oh, this is so messed up, bro. How is Ghetto alive? How is he here? <gasps> Oh my god, bro. He can't move! Hello? What? <gasps> Ew! What the f? <laughs> Placing its brain with. <sighs> Who is it then? Who is this curse? Sheko? Shoko? Handled the disposal of his body. Uh, what's the point of, of, of restraining him for a thousand years and letting him out? He's still alive and out there somewhere, right? The new world is this one piece! Dude, nobody's even made it there. Mekamaru? Where did he even get that from? Ah!
Did we lose already? What just happened? My goodness. Bro, that, that might have been my favorite episodes of Jujutsu Kaisen of all time. Like the, the entire scene with him killing Hanami, outsmarting Jogo, and just running through all the curses. It revealing how that all went down was perfection. My goodness. And we finally find out what Ghetto is and how this plan was to go down. It was all also emotional manipulation too, to keep him there in place. Jujutsu Kaisen is peak, man. Oh my gosh. They didn't expect him to use his infinite void. Although maybe Ghetto did, like a part of him did. And that's what would push him to the edge. He was waiting for him to use his infinite void, but use it in a way that pushed him to his limits by saving everybody still. Yes, he does have cold realism, but not as cold as it can get. Like I said, go Gojo could have completely set aside everybody else and killed all the civilians and probably made it way easier on himself. 100% made it easier on himself. So is Gojo sealed just like that? Now we have to get to Ghetto to unseal him? But at that point, how do you unseal him? This plan was magnificent and it only took like two episodes. We still have a whole season to go. But guys, that's been it for Jujutsu Guys in episode 33. Shibuya incident, gate open. They might as well call it gate open, gate closed. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop a sub and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, peace.